also have uh, a copy of the People Daily, which is congestion uh, hits junior secondary school classrooms. So these are teething problems. Home to our CBC um, junior secondary, I shall fix teething problems. So <laughs> they're saying uh, there's a failure. Their failure to approve some public schools to offer grade seven. Uh, is a pro has been a problem, and also there's a high cost of private education that is causing headache to parents. Most importantly, and that story is on page two to three of the People Daily. Let, let's look at the numbers a little bit. We have uh, 1.2 million. That is the number of grade six learners who sat. Uh, the Kenya Primary School Education Assessment last year, and we have 100%, uh, that is what the government wants, all learners who sat grade a six exam to join uh, junior secondary school, but not all schools were approved by junior second, uh, by the junior sec for the junior secondary school. That means the government wants 100% transition, but they did not even approve uh, all the schools, so that might be a problem since the as they want their 100% transition, there's also 15,000 is the amount the government has allocated for every junior secondary school learner. But however, the money was yet to reach school bank accounts by last Friday. And uh, I'm hoping that maybe it might get its way to the school banks bank accounts, maybe today. Because um, last Friday, we were looking at the same story and they and we were saying that some kids haven't even started learning. And that's sad because there was a lot of uh, commotion here and there and anxiety when uh, the parents were taking their kids to school. And then when you manage to get a slot in a school, now your kid is not learning. Doesn't make sense. So were you just rushing over and over just for your kid to go to school and sit? That's wasting time for, and, uh, for the kid and also resources for the parent. And uh, we need to do better uh, in that sector. 